the Primarchs, the genetically engineered sons of the Emperor of Mankind, were giants of men, larger than even the genetically enhanced warriors of the Legio Astartes. But just how large were they? For this video, our 100th theory video, we will try to calculate the heights of the Primarchs. Now for a disclaimer, first we will be using official artwork depicting the Primarchs to calculate their heights as opposed to their models, due to the issues of scale inconsistency in regards to individual models, such as Guardsmen models being the same height as Space Marines, when Space Marines are supposed to tower over regular humans. But that being said, given Forge World's attention to detail, their scaling may very well be accurate, but we do not have models for all the Primarchs as of yet. Secondly, we will admit right now that there may as well be inconsistencies in the artwork and of course due to potential human error, and thus these calculations may be off by a few inches give or take. These may not be 100% accurate, but we are attempting to make sure they will be as accurate as we can make them. The first Primarch we calculated the height for, who will also form the base for the others to be measured against, is Horus. In this picture of Horus against the Emperor, we used the severed heads that adorn his Terminator armour to calculate the basis of his height. Assuming Horus is standing on top of the steps where the Emperor's foot is also placed, Horus measures 12 heads high. If these severed heads are of regular non-augmented humans, with the average size of a human male skull being 9.4 inches, this would make Horus 9 foot 3 from foot to head in Terminator armour. However, if these severed heads on Horus' armour are belonging to slain Astartes, which given the Horus heresy seems to be more likely, then we can estimate an Astartes skull being 1.5 inches taller due to the reinforced skeletal structure and overall larger size of Astartes, to give their skulls an approximate height of 10.9 inches tall. In this case, this would make Horus and Terminator plates from foot to head 10 foot 9 inches tall, and if Terminator armour adds around half a foot to a foot in height on top of power armour, this will make Horus anywhere between 9 foot 9 and 10 foot 2 in power armour. Now that we have the height of Horus, we can use this to estimate the heights of the other Primarchs. In the official art depicting the triumph of Ulanor, we see the Primarchs Horus, Fulgrim, Rogal Dawn, Jagatai Khan, Mortarion, Angron, Lorgar, Sanguinius and Magnus the Red. Since the picture is at a skewed angle, with the Primarch standing further and further away from the viewer, to calculate the height of the other Primarchs here, we will use the railing of the balcony as a base. From the top of the railing to the end of the curve above the middle slab of the railing support column, we calculate the length to be roughly 2 foot 6 inches give or take an inch, and as such we can use this as our measuring stick for the other Primarchs in this picture. The only exceptions, however, will be Angron and Magnus, as they appear to be slouching or leaning, and since we cannot see their legs to calculate their height, we will need to work out these two later. First, we'll start with Fulgrim, as he is on the same physical plane as Horus, and thus will be the easiest to calculate. Using both the Horus and railing calculations, we estimate Fulgrim in his power armour to stand around 10 foot 2. Using the railing calculations also gives us the following heights. Sanguinius at 9 foot 6, Jagatai Khan at 10 foot 3, Rogal Dawn at 8 foot 10, Lorgar at 9 feet, and Mortarion at 8 foot 6. Next, we will estimate the height of some of the other Primarchs. Firstly, we will focus on Alpharius. Alpharius is always described as being rather small for a Primarch, being only the size of a large Astartes. According to the Deathwatch RPG, an Astartes is 2.1 meters tall so just under 6 foot 9. And according to Black Library author Aaron Dembski Bowden, Astartes are approximately between 7 to 8 feet in height. By this logic, we can assume that Alpharius is anywhere from 8 foot to maybe 8 foot 2. Conversely, Vulcan is always described as being the largest Primarch, although not necessarily the tallest. Vulcan was stated to be as large in his power armour as Horus was in his Terminator armour. This would make Vulcan at least 10 foot 9, but potentially larger. The cataphracty pattern Terminator arm that Horus used has a large hump above the head and shoulders, which is reinforced for protection. 
If Vulcan is as tall as the top of Horus's armour, this would make Vulcan stand at a colossal 11 foot 8. Next, we will calculate the height of Angron. Using this picture and utilising the severed head formula we used to calculate Horus's height, with the skull being that of an Astartes and thus being 10.9 inches in height, puts Angron at approximately 10 foot 2. Using the same calculations for Perturabo in the artwork for Angel Exterminatus, puts him at approximately 9 foot 6 in Terminator armour, although this cannot be 100% guaranteed due to a skewed and angled pose. For Rabute Gilliman, we see that on the cover to Unremembered Empire that he is close in height to Sanguinius, who we estimated to be around 9 foot 6. Given how Gilliman's head is tilted back slightly, if his head was in a normal forward facing position, this could put Gilliman at anywhere between 9 foot 2 and 9 foot 5. For the final six Primarchs, calculating heights became more problematic. For Lehman Russ, using the Prospero in Flames art as our guide, we took the height of one of the Space Marines behind Russ, and assuming the Space Wolf is approximately 7.5 foot, we then increased the Marine's scaling based on his relative distance from the Primarch and educated guessing, finding Russ to be approximately 9 foot 3. For Magnus the Red, we used a similar method to Russ, using the Magnus novel artwork and finding his height to be around 9 foot 7, although this is debatable since the Primarch is known to not only be able to shapeshift his height, but also due to the fact that the picture in question has Magnus in a motion evocative pose, bent legged and torso turned, so this height may not be accurate. Using the same method for Ferris Manus, using the cover art for the Gorgon and Medusa as our guide, we estimate Ferris Manus to also be around 9 foot 3 whilst in his Terminator armour, which would approximately make him 8 foot 9 in power armour, give or take a few inches. But again, given his dynamic pose, this may not 100% be accurate. We also estimate that for Corvus Corax, using the artwork from the novel Corax, using the same formula for Russ, Magnus, and Ferris, to be approximately 9 foot 1. But again, given his pose, this calculation, like the others, has a margin for error. And finally, for Lion L. Johnson and Conrad Kurz, we utilised a combination of the Skull formula and Rust calculations to estimate Conrad Kurz to be approximately 9 foot tall and Lion L. Johnson to be an estimated 8 foot 7. This would leave the following heights for the Primarchs from shortest to tallest. Alpharius at 8 foot to 8 foot 2, Mortarion at 8 foot 6, Lionel Johnson at 8 foot 7, Rogel Don at 8 foot 10, Lorgar at 9 foot, Conrad Kurz at 9 foot, Corvus Corax at 9 foot 1, Ferris Manus at 9 foot 3 in Terminator Plate, Lehman Russ at 9 foot 3, Rabute Gilliman at 9 foot 4, Petrarabo at 9 foot 6 in Terminator Plate, Sanguinius at 9 foot 6, Magnus the Red at 9 foot 7, Fulgrim at 10 foot 2, Angron at 10 foot 2, Jacket Icon at 10 foot 3, Horus at 10 foot 9 in Terminator Plate, and Vulcan anywhere between 10 foot 9 and 11 foot 8. Once all the Forge World models have been released, we may very well come back to this subject to see what the figures themselves say. Until then, you can find copies of all the calculations in the link in the video description. Until then, we hope you enjoyed this 100th theory video. Leave a comment below, and thanks for watching.